new numbers suggest more asylum seekers and illegal immigrants are now crossing the southern border in Arizona and California more than they do in Texas for the time being. This is happening as a coalition of Republican governors prepares to head to the Texas border this weekend. Fox Sports' Blake Hansen in now with more on the ramped up role of states in border defense. Blake. Heather and Steve, more states this week have pledged to send manpower and other resources to the border. And while there is apparently progress in terms of Congress's plan to, to hatch out a border deal, uh, there is some evidence that recent changes at the border might be having an impact. In Dripping Springs, west of Austin, the collective of people known as the Take Our Border Back Convoy rallied Thursday. The group is traveling to the border for protests of the federal handling of the crisis. I think this is something that we can kind of all agree on in a, some way. We are very, very for legal immigration. We want to welcome people into our country with open arms, but we do believe it should be the, legally. We think they are more than welcome. Just do it the right way. The convoy is not the only group headed to Texas the southern border this weekend. Governor Greg Abbott announced he'll host 14 other Republican governors. It says more red states vow support for the state of Texas's efforts, with the state essentially nudging out the federal government from areas like Shelby Park and Eagle Pass. If Texas is helping to erect barriers, putting up razor wire, doing other things to keep illegal aliens out, I want to be helpful with them doing that. A Customs and Border Protection source tells Fox News that crossings in the border sector, including Eagle Pass, dropped significantly from December to January. And a majority of crossings are now happening in Arizona and California, not Texas. In addition to Texas's hardened response, Mexico has increased its enforcement. Crossings do typically slow in colder months. Meanwhile, the problems caused by the border crisis continue to play out. Immigration and Customs Enforcement officials announced an operation that rounded up non-U.S. citizens in 25 major cities who had been accused of serious crimes. Officials also confirmed a daily caller report that an al-Shabaab terrorist was released into the U.S. after crossing illegally and not caught for about a year. Listen, we need more resources and we're working to get that as hard as we can. Some senators say that text of a border bill and Ukraine aid piece of legislation could be released as soon as tomorrow with a test vote to happen possibly Wednesday of next week. That is despite House leadership, Republican House leadership pouring cold water on the prospect of a deal.